Getting diagnosed with prostate cancer can be a tough pill to swallow, but many in early stages of, prog uh, prog of the prognosis, rather, they're turning to active surveillance in an effort to avoid more invasive treatments like surgery or radiation. Here to talk to us about a new option for those men on active surveillance is Dr. Neil Shore. He's a urologist specializing in prostate, prostate cancer treatment, along with one of his patients, Raymond. It's great having you, gentlemen. Welcome in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, doctor, uh, tell us about active surveillance. Why is this recommended for some men now? You'd think you'd find a cancer. You got to attack it. That's not necessarily the case when it comes to prostate cancer. You're absolutely right. It, it, it isn't necessarily the case. You know, too many people hear, you know, the big C cancer word and they get, you know, understandably pretty freaked out. They think their hair's on fire and life has changed and they got to do something right away, uh, surgery or radiation. Well, all of the data, it's not controversial at all, tells us that about 40% of the newly diagnosed men in the United States, that's roughly 60,000 men, are ideal candidates for active surveillance, which wow. means we just follow the PSA, follow the prostate exam, do some follow-up biopsies, and this disease may never impact their lives. Wow. And why is that important? Because even though men with aggressive cancer need it taken care of, Unfortunately, with surgery and radiation, there can be life-altering effects on urinary and sexual function. No doubt. Oh, Raymond, let's talk about you. Hair on fire? Did you feel that? Oh, to say the least. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I, I almost fell off the table when I almost fell off the table when the doctor told me. I uh, was not expecting the news. Yeah, and, and you, you hear, okay, well, we're going to have this cancer stay in you. We're just going to look at it. Can be a kind of a weird feeling, but uh, this is actually the right approach for for many men, isn't it? It is, you know, as the doctor mentioned, most people when they hear cancer think radiation or surgery. Uh, after a conversation with my urologist, he proposed active surveillance, um, which is a, a, a lot less side effects, actually no side effects to it. I go in for routine blood work and a biopsy and, and that's all. There we go, which is not, nothing wrong with that. Now, doctor, you're taking a different approach to active surveillance. You use immunotherapy. Now, how is that used in prostate cancer treatment today. Yeah, so immunotherapy has been approved since 2010 in advanced prostate cancer patients, and yeah. I was fortunate to participate in that uh, research. So patients with advanced prostate cancer, we take out a, a very small amount of their own native immune cells, treat it with a special vaccine, which basically amplifies their immune recognition of the cancer cells, wow. give it back to them intravenously. It's given over a four to six week period, and it's remarkably well tolerated. This has been available and given to over 30,000 men in the United States. It prolongs their survival with advanced prostate cancer. So that's why we're doing the study now for men such as Ray. We're taking men with much earlier stage disease, giving them that exact same immunotherapy, and trying to see, okay, we, you're already a good candidate for active surveillance, how do we increase the likelihood that that active surveillance is, is longer lasting and completely effective? It's why I'm partnering with Dendrion. I'm the national principal investigator on the, the ProVent study. Yeah, which is remarkable. Raymond, you're part of the study. What, what made you decide to be a part of this? Uh, I wanted to actively participate in cancer research. Awesome. It's just that simple. Um, also, I've got two young sons. And I'm hoping, you know, God forbid, 30, 40 years from now, they're diagnosed with prostate cancer. I want the doctor to be able to tell them this is not a big deal because clinical trials like this, you know, today pre prevented or, or helped uh, reduce the uh, prostate cancer issue. Absolutely. Well, it, it's incredible work and very uh, so, uh, selfless of you to be a part of it. Uh, doctor, we're going to share the website uh, now for viewers that want to be a part of the study, and we thank you so much for joining us. Thank you thank so you. much. All right, take control of your prostate health. If you want to learn more, you can visit ProVentStudy.com. Like prevent, but instead of E, first E there, it's an L. ProVentStudy.com. Dendrion Pharmaceuticals, a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend.